This is artificial intelligence improvising in the style of John Coltrane. Hi, welcome to Dr. Max. I love you guys and I'm going to talk to you about five technologies that will transform music forever. Check out, we begin with number five, computing power. Now, there is no question that nowadays to make music, most of us use a computer and the smaller they become, the more we use them, the more powerful they become, the more we can do with them. I mean, think about it. This 100 kilos beast worth the price of an apartment is what it took to play a handful of samples in 1979. Today, I have a full recording studio with unlimited musical instruments as a free app on my phone. You know, just a little extra while you're making a call. And yes, the growth of computing power is what makes this whole thing happen. This is even more evident in the ever-improving graphics quality of video games. From Atari's pixelated stick figures of the 80s to today's crisp, hyper-realistic characters of Sony's PlayStation. In fact, the power of graphic processing units, aka GPUs, has improved exponentially in the past 10 years. GPU Audio, the kind sponsors of today's video, are pioneers in harnessing the power of GPU to make music. This is the sound of 100 convolution reverbs playing at the same time. 100 of them. Let me show you this trick. So here is Cubase. Here I've got my Super 808 sound pack and I've selected a big bass drum and then I've got a French horn going up here and a whole series of French horns down there so that I go weep, right? So this is the kick drum and it's got its own fear convolver that I have put at four, yeah? These are very simple settings but all very effective. And then all of these horns here, I've got a whole bunch of them, look at them, look at them. Th these are really heavy plugins to be running on a CPU, but because I'm running them on the GPU, no problem. I have panned to the right, to the left, to the extreme right, extreme left, and then a little bit in the middle. I put a group on it, put another fear, and this is the result. This is really revolutionary technology. In fact, GPU Audio have recently partnered with NVIDIA and AMD, and they are closely working with Apple to support Mac OS in the coming weeks. GPU Audio will also release their first beta suite called the Modulation Bundle, featuring three essential effects, chorus, phaser, and flanger. I really invite you to click on the link in the description to sign up and be the first to try the beta suite for yourself. Next, number four, 3D sound. Some call it spatial sound or immersive sound, and it's all about exploiting the ear's special power to localizing sounds. This allows to put audiences in perceived 3D spaces with pretty stunning results. This is why recently everyone is talking about Dolby Atmos, DTS-X, Apple Spatial Audio, Sony 360 Reality. Spatial audio technology is vastly used in the film and video game industry, but it's still exciting early days for music mixing. 3D mixing will become standard in the coming years, allowing us to walk around mm, a band, for example. That would be cool. You know, you walk around a band and you listen to the drums here, you listen to the bass. That's cool. Thank you, technology. Next! Artificial intelligence, AI. Now, AI has been around for a lot longer than most people think. The first AI program was written in 1951, and by 1955, AI had already self-taught how to play checkers, and in 1989, it could drive a vehicle autonomously. That's right. This technology is improving at an exponential pace, leveraging the ever faster computing power, the explosion of digital data, and the growth of the internet 
bandwidth. AI is already present in many aspects of our lives. You want me to demonstrate? Check out! Interactive maps, voice assistants, accountancy, autonomous vehicles, weather forecast, fraud prevention, medical research. But what I was not prepared for is for the use of AI as a creative tool. Check out. This is an existing song. It's a full mix. With Isotope RX9, I can do this. Click, click, click. Et voila! I have separated vocals from the music and music from the vocals. I know, right? But check out, it gets deeper. This is Databots. They basically fed John Coltrane's music to an AI program and then let AI imitate John Coltrane. This other AI program has been improvising death metal non-stop for years. Each one of these technological advances are as revolutionary today as the synthesizer 50 years ago. I am curious to hear what kind of sounds we will be able to make in 10 years time. Who knows? Uh, but one thing is very likely. AI will... AI, AI takes over when you don't want to. <laughs> what? AI will be the music producer's sharpest tool for the foreseeable future. Next. Number two, the metaverse. Now, there is a lot of confusion about this word. Let's define it, shall we? A virtual reality space in which users can interact with a computer-generated environment and other users. So, practically every game that we've all ever played with a friend is a metaverse, isn't it? If you ever tried Roblox or Fortnite, then you know exactly how it feels to explore a virtual world where you interact with characters that have real people behind them. And no, you don't need one of those giant, ridiculous goggles to enjoy the game. I mean, unless you want them. So, what does the metaverse do? How about shopping for groceries? Just place the item in your cart whenever you're ready. How about streaming your DJ set in your virtual club where other people can enjoy your music, socialize? You know that it's already happening. It's called Decentraland. You are there as an avatar and you're listening to the DJ, you're dancing, you're hanging out, you're voice chatting to friends and maybe meeting new friends. Did you know that Dead Mouse plays concerts on Decentraland? Here's how it looks. There are already many artists playing in the metaverse right now. I am building my own venue in Decentraland. Check it out. It doesn't look like much right now, but I'm working on it and I'm learning. The thing is that I see the metaverse as an opportunity for musicians to engage with their community in a new, fresh and exciting way. And, you know, if social media is a good case study for how people consume and share music, then the metaverse can really bring a lot of value to the audience and to artists such as myself and you. Next, number one, the blockchain. So music copyright, AKA the right of musicians to get paid for the use of their creations has always had a middleman called the publisher. But what if musicians had access to a database that automatically distributes revenue for their intellectual property? Wouldn't that be great? Well, it exists. Here's how it works. You issue a certificate of ownership that gets stored on a secure distributed database called the blockchain. Public copies of your certificate are then scattered all over thousands of computers across the world, making it impossible for anyone to make changes to the certificate. 
Why? Because it's protected by cryptography and it's public. So everyone can see what happens with it. Blockchain is the same technology that powers Bitcoin as well as a ton of other crypto projects. Practically what this means for artists like you and me is that in the future we won't need PRS, MCPS, ASCAP, BMI, Gamma, CI to enforce music rights on behalf of publishers on our behalf. Just like the internet in the 90s eliminated the middleman from information, communication and commerce, the blockchain will eliminate the middleman from ownership, trade and intellectual property. I've always been an early adopter of new technologies because I've learned very early that if I wanted to keep on being a musician, then I needed to go where new opportunities were, right? So that's why I embraced YouTube in 2005 and that's why I invite you to not be scared of new tech because you never know which one might make your dreams come true. I hope you like this video, I hope you stay inspired, I hope you sign up for GPU Audio's new plugin bundle by clicking on the link in the description. They support this channel, they're very cool. Thank you GPU Audio. I will see you all next time after you have watched this video. This video right here. This.